Hi, Verity here from inkybutterfly.wordpress.com, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Happy New Year to everybody. I haven't seen you for a few weeks and some exciting things have happened. So we now have um, our new spring summer catalogue is now live. It went live on the 3rd of January. So those of you who have shopped with me in the past have already got one that um, I have sent to you in the post. If you require a hard copy of this um, catalogue then please let me know drop me a comment and I can, I can post I can contact you and post it out otherwise you can download, download it from my uh, blog uh, and then alongside that um, we also had the start of celebration so celebration is a fantastic event where you get free stuff with um, every qualifying order. So just quickly, I just wanted to sort of, now that I can, I can show you a little bit of the inside. So the cover had a few clues as to what was going to be included, uh, but we've got some great uh, new sweets uh, in here. Um, some beautiful, fun designs. We've got some roller coasters there. We've got some party birthday themes. This is the sweet soiree suite which is proving to be very 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 popular uh, this is the, the stamp set with some coordinating framelets and some gorgeous design series paper um, and we also have um, some new kits this beautiful um, card kit with, with some exclusive watercolour pencils in there as well uh, there's a beautiful um, card box kit uh, and then this suite is the um, Painted with Love suite, which is the one I'm going to feature on today's project. Um, lots of fab stuff within this collection. We've got some gold flakes, those are brilliant, and some, some fabulous foiled designer series paper. Um, today I'm going to feature the stamp set and dies. I'll show you those in more detail in a moment. So lots and lots and lots of absolutely fabulous stuff. This is very popular, the Petal Passion Suite. This is really, really great. It's all black and white, but of course you can add colour through various other means as well. So so there you go. There's a quick, quick flick through. There's some fantastic stuff in there. Like I say, if you would like a copy, then please do let me know. And then alongside that, we've got Celebration. Celebration is one of the biggest events in the Stampin' Up! calendar. It runs from the 3rd of January through to the end of March. And what this means is that with every um, qualifying order, you can actually select one of the products out of this brochure to um, be shipped to you. Well, you, you don't need to purchase it, you get it for free. Okay, so um, most of the items in here, um, there are 13 items to choose from, most of them you qualify um, with £45, but there are a couple of items where you will need a £90 order to qualify to receive. If you choose them, you, you choose them. Okay, um, so there are some absolutely wonderful um, stamps in here. We've got this wonderful photo reel bloom the gorgeous peacock a card kit ribbon uh, some memories and more kits some designer series paper and various other things okay so like I say those those items again qualifying orders and then at checkout you'll be allowed to select uh, an item that you will receive for free okay um, along with this as a promotion uh, there's also a fabulous joining offer so um, ordinarily you will join for 99 pounds and for that you will receive 130 pounds worth of product during celebration you will you will get all of that plus you will also have um, the chance to choose two additional free stamp sets that's an additional value of up to 90 pounds if you go by you know the most expensive things 
um, in the catalogue. So it could be an extra £90 worth of value um, in product for that £99, which is totally amazing. Um, so there's been no better time to join. And again, if you want more details on that, please let me know. Okay, so that's those two things, and that's enough of that. We'll, we'll leave those to one side and we will get on with today's project. So, as I was um, saying, um, we're going to feature this stamp set, the Sure Do A Love You stamp set. Okay, so obviously it's a, it is a Valentine theme, but Valentine. Valentine sets don't necessarily need to be used for Valentine's Day, of course. Um, now, the framelits for these look like this. Okay. Um, so, you can see that um, uh, this heart marries up, and we've got the banner that cuts out there, and then these three little hearts here. Um, but we've also got this very large die, which actually creates a little box. Um so you cut it twice and, and, and stick it together and this is what you end up with um, so, so that's the that's the box okay so it the finished dimensions are three by five inches or thereabouts um, so they will fit um, little goodies little pieces of chocolate or even some um, note cards if you if you want to do that uh, there are some nice new slim mini note cards in the um in the spring summer catalog that would fit in here okay um so so this is what we're going to make so uh whilst the box itself actually will open of its own accord um the decoration i've actually used a belly band and what i've done is sort of made sort of almost like a little secret window so you can actually peek at what's in there without actually opening it up um, and that, that sits across there so I'm going to show you how I put this together using um, those stumps and dies so um, in the usual fashion rather than you watching me and listening to me cranking loads of things through a die cut machine I have cut some things ahead of time so to, to actually create the box you actually need two of these pieces so you can get two out of an A4 piece of cardstock quite comfortably um, my original sample was done in fresh fig this is powder pink cardstock um, so I've already dug up that and put some tape on there uh, we're also going to use a piece of vellum so this is actually um, it's two inches wide and it's cut off the sort of short end of a, an A4 with then a little half inch or so cut off to wrap around the middle and then all we need to do is um, some burnishing and a bit of stamping and then we'll die cut, die cut the window as well now somewhere I've put down a window shape and of course it's invisible which means now I can't find it oh there it is, great okay. so there's some uh, window sheet there as well which I have cut just short of three inches so sort of uh, two and seven eighths by four and three quarters or so as long as it fits onto this um, central panel then that will be fine okay right so what we will do then is let's um, do our stamping and uh, die cutting first onto the, the front of this card so I've already prepped up this um, uh, sort of like almost like a laurel uh, wreath but obviously in a, sh in a heart shape um, so I, um, I've mentioned this before in, in some of my videos but I lay the, the stamp down where I, where I think it's straight and then put the block on top so that I've got an, uh, an idea that it's in the middle and then that that helps me to then position it onto um, my cardstock. So the suite itself um, has powder pink, so hence using powder pink, and the DSP also contains um, melon mambo and calypso coral um, colours as well. So I'm going to use melon mambo ink to um, ink 
this stamp up so I wanted plenty of ink on there it's a large stamp just light tapping not pressing at all it's literally just resting on there we don't want to squish um, into our ink pads and damage it so as I said because I know the uh, stamp has been positioned on this block so that it will um, be straight ish I can pos hover over there and position that reasonably confidently that that's going to be in the middle now with the videos unfortunately you can't get your head right over the top because then you obscure the view for you guys so hopefully that's roughly right that looks fine that's beautiful okay so now that we've got that um the um we need this um heart die from the framelit set and this fits quite nicely inside there to create our window now if you have a magnetic platform then that will sit straight in your big shot machine I do not so I will be just using a little bit of low tack tape and I shall just run that quickly through my my die cut machine which I've just got off to one side sometimes it will crack but that's completely normal so the die cut machine is too big to get onto the camera so I just gently lift that out so we now have our aperture in there and of course this heart could be used for anything else a tag whatever or on another project stick that back so I don't lose it okie dokie I think while we've got the die cutting um, going on we'll also stamp the, um, the banner sentiment which says sure do love you now this stamp is actually um, very solid um, and then the, the wording has been sort of engraved in rather than it being raised up like um, on most other um, sentiment stamp so you need to make sure this is inked well but not so well that it then the ink seeps into into the wording okay so I'm just going to again just really light tapping just to make sure that that's well inked and you can see that that's nice and well covered and then we want to have some nice firm and even pressure on there Try not to wiggle it about. Let that ink transfer. Just pressing both ends in the middle. Okay, let's roll. It isn't. Um, it's designed to sort of have a little watercolor effect, so it doesn't look perfect, as it were, um, because it's not meant to. But that is very nice that will do very nicely let's put this away we don't need this anymore otherwise i will end up sticking my fingers in it so now we'll use this banner die and again i'll get my low tack tape so this only goes one way and then we'll just line that up it does leave a little little edge so you want to make sure that that edge is even all the way around it's nice and straightforward okay and I'll just run that through the die cut machine again and there we go it pops out really nice and easily there we go and 
Okay, so that's ready to go. Oh, I need that heart. That heart I said keep for something else. We need it. <laughs> okay. Silly. I'd have been going, where's that? Right. Okay, we're ready to put things together. So the way this will go together, it's, it's sort of tops and tails itself. So you've got a flap at both ends. Okay. So the first thing to do is to um, score and burnish. So the um, the die obviously cuts out the these edges, but also makes these faint. There you go. Just there's some faint lines um, which are score lines. So we can we can now fold along those lines and burnish those creases using our bone folder to make sure they're nice and crisp. So if they're nice and crisp, it means the box will fold together uh, more easily and the closure will be more secure. So give those a nice, nice burnish. That's those flaps. And then these long flaps, the, the score lines aren't deep. They aren't like if you were to use your Simply Score board, you'd have nice deep score lines and they'd be nice and easy to bend over but because these are done with a die they aren't terribly deep so just coax it over to start off with so you don't buckle your card and then once that's over just give that a press do the same with the other one I'm suspecting that it would be completely possible to make a larger box from this by cutting four of these and using them each as four side panels. And so that's something that I'd like to just try, see if we can work out how that works. Not sure how, how the bottom would work, it might meet in the middle, but have to wait and have to have to have to see. Okay, so now we've got that, and now we're going to um, stick those sides together. So as I say, tops and tails, uh, like this. So what we will do is we'll remove one piece of tape and line that up and stick it down. So this is just some tear and tape, sided tape. So I'm just going to line that up with the score line, hopefully without getting my head in the way. I say you should ordinarily you'd want to have your head right over the top of that to make sure it's lined up. There we are. Just give that a nice, nice price. And then that will just fold over. Like so, or you can do it. Take off this other piece of tape. Oh. And fold over this other side. So I just like to run over those seams now with uh, the bone folder. And there we are. Right, so I should have made that the back. That the little one. So we didn't have that, that crease on the side. Um, it is easy to open. Now if I crease that better on that wall. Hmm. Not quite sure why that's not closing quite well. The bottom bottom's closed perfectly. Oh, that one doesn't seem to want to play. We haven't scored it, haven't burnished it quite well enough. Um, but uh, just to make um, it a little easier to um, 
to open I'm just going to use my half inch circle punch just to nip away just a teeny tiny segment from there with a hole punch So, oh, I haven't stuck my window sheet in. <laughs> I have not stuck my window sheet in. That's what I have not done. Okay. Good fire. So, I'm going to run some fast views on this window sheet and we'll just slot it in on the, from the front. As long as it doesn't touch the side, if you slot it down into the middle there, and then press it down use my bone folder to just to press down those sides solved. Okay, so for the belly band then, we are going to wrap this vellum around um, the box and we're going to have the seam at the front and that means that the, the, the embellishments on the front will actually hide this seam. This vellum is notorious for um, showing uh, the adhesive through so I'm not going to score this with a bone fold I'm just going to press it with my with my fingers so that's those two um, creases in and I'm just going to pinch here and here just to give me an idea of where those lines will be and just use my fingers uh, to to put back to position okay so those meet in the middle there and you can see that sort of that double thickness which isn't terribly pretty uh, so that's why I decided to have it round the front and then uh, we could oh, disguise it with um, the embellishment. So I'm just going to run a little tiny bit of fuse across the middle there. Put that into position. And just press that down. And then all we need to do is add the hearts and the banner. And I actually did this with dimensionals. Uh, so I, I've actually positioned them onto the vellum itself. Just top and bottom, but not too close to the bottom. So they're not going to stick out from behind the heart. Take off those backings. And because the idea is that it will cover up that window and cover up that join. There we are, which it does. Okay. And then the banner will, will sit across there too. So I'm just going to secure that by putting dimensionals behind the ends. And I'm just going to put the slightest bit of fuse in the middle there just to secure the the center. So again we'll stick a dimensional at each end. Not too close, it'll overhang so you want to leave a little bit at the edge. Only ever so slightly. Okay. And then we'll just position that across the middle there. Voila. 
what do you think? I think that's super cute. To see if I can burnish that a little bit more, see if we can make it fit. I, and uh, those are my two samples uh, using the Sure Do Love You stamp set from the uh, Painted With Love suite from the new Spring Summer Catalogue. I hope you've enjoyed that project uh, and that you will uh, hit the like button. Thanks again for watching and Happy New Year again to you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.